I am heading to my basement. I have a major project down here um, that I have been avoiding. Oh dear. And it is the kids' books. Um, I kind of need to do these first. Whoa, that light is bright. Because they are in the way of my school closet, which is also down here. Here they are. A while ago, I had somebody take them off the shelf, and they only did some of them, so that's fun. Oh, I don't even just, I just don't even know what we're going to do with all this. Um, hmm. Okay. Oh, dear. So many books. We read. We read, we read, we read, we read all the time. But there are some books that we just don't read anymore, and some that I've gotten completely destroyed. So my, my gift to myself after I get this project done is to then get to dig into my school closet. I always love getting ready for the next school year. It's exciting. I always loved school as a kid and as a homeschool mom, I still love that time of year. So um, I'm not ready for summer to go yet. And this school year, we have some huge changes at the beginning, like our oldest won't be living here anymore. And I'm not gonna talk about that or I'm gonna start crying. So this space used to be our school room when we first moved in here. Actually, when we first moved in here, this was a tuck under garage. So these windows were actually garage doors. Um, and anyway, it was kind of disgusting. It was very disgusting. Um, then we turned it into our school room. And then what happened was that we got a wood burning stove upstairs and it stayed way warmer up there. So we would all kind of migrate up there anyway. Um, and then now we have a grand piano and we have a vibraphone. And we have a Bowflex, which this is my least favorite thing that is in this room. Um, but Brett uses it all the time. So it's not like it's just like this big thing of exercise equipment that nobody uses. He uses it. But today, it's these books. And I just don't even know what to do with them. So I'm going to go through them, get rid of ones that we don't have any particular attachment to, or that are completely ruined. And I just need, I just need to do it. Because if I don't do it, then it's just... Ah, it just hangs over my head. So here we go. all the books in just kind of random piles. My brain knows what the piles are. Don't find this thing. This is a disaster. We'll get to that. We're not going to pay attention to that shelf right this very second. So now one thing that I usually do is just quickly separate the books into like hardback and softback. Softback? Paperback I think is the word I was looking for. Um, and then from there I will um, actually put things back on the shelf and then really kind of organize and figure out what for sure we are keeping. looking through this one? Well, like, so. there's some stickers mm -hmm. still that I can take off. Yeah. And these I can. But those. So you want to keep this still? Should I put it back on the shelf? Yeah. Okay. But Fair don't enough. put it on the shelf because, like, it's not really. Well, where should I put it? Where should it go then? We're going to keep it. In mine. You want to put it in your drawer? Perfect. All right. I'm making progress. Um. So when I organize my kids' books, I do not put them in like some really complicated order. I literally have most of the hardbacks 
down here. Some more hardbacks, some more like, I think these are like the beginner reader ones, which we only have one more beginner reader. So keeping organization simple for kids things is like 100% the way to go. Because if you don't, then nothing gets put back the way they're supposed to be. So if I keep all like items together, like right now I have all, like a lot of the Dr. Seuss stuff together down here, um, but I don't expect it to stay that way. <laughs> so um, anyway, so these are looking good. Yeah, I mean, some of our books are not in the best condition, but I'm telling you, we have spent hours and hours and hours and hours and hours reading these books. So I'm not gonna get rid of them just because the covers look terrible. All right, again, I am ignoring this shelf for now. This is a lot of the music books. I'm not sure why music books are here and not there. In fact, I might change that and put music books up there because it doesn't make sense to have the music books in the midst of all of our reading books. I'm sure there's a reason why we did that, but right now I cannot think of it. So, um, yeah, gonna take care of that. I figured out why we have the music books in the midst of all of the regular books. It's because this shelf is just slightly taller than these two shelves. So anyway, it should be fine. I have this more organized. Hopefully kids can keep their books on here. We have one little um, like wooden basket thing next to the piano. So um, some piano books can go in there and either I have another massive binder like this for the music that we do at church. I can't find the other one, so I don't know where that is, but um, I'm sure we'll find it. And so, yeah, so now I'm just going to do this shelf. I might leave this one alone. Um, there are these books up here, um, Thornton W. Burgess books. They're so sweet. Um, I might see if some of my big kids want me to stick them in their boxes. Um, like one you can only read so many of them they're kind of repetitive and they all have very obvious morals i don't really love books with very obvious morals i like good stories that you know you get a moral because it's a good story and you care so i'm not sure if those will stay and there's a handful of other books that might go but but so these ones looking good and then this shelf this big shelf over here ah the, so this one's kind of hard because we also have our foosball table. See, we used to have more room for all of this before we had a vibraphone, before we had a grand piano, and before we had the uh, Bowflex down here. 